What's up? This is just going to be a little bit of an off-the-cuff ramble. I'm going to talk a bit about method neutrality and what I think about the various ways you can go about method neutrality. So the most popular way uh, people do method, and this will be in the context of 3x3, three three, of course, um, big cubes, I, I don't think people are trying to be method neutral on big cubes. Um, if they are, I mean, I've, I haven't thought about it enough to really say what I think, but it's probably not great. <laughs> Anyway, so for 3x3, three three, the, the most popular way people do, like, method neutrality is usually Roo and CFOP. Now, the reason for this is because they are the big two methods. Obviously, ZZ is sort of in the conversation. It's starting to come back now that people are taking the uh, the EO cross pill, so to speak. Uh, but we'll, we'll talk a bit about mostly Roo and CFOP. And some of the stuff I'm talking about does apply to ZZ as well, just to a lesser extent. Definitely applies to Petrus, which is worse than all of those three methods, at least at the moment. Um, maybe that'll change, probably not, at least in my opinion. Um, anyways, so the thing that I don't really like about method neutrality is that scrambles that are good for CFOP are generally scrambles that are going to be good for Roo, and vice versa, scrambles that are good for Roo are generally going to be pretty good with CFOP. And the reason that this thought came to mind is I saw a scramble posted with a solved Roo block from a CFOP solver, and I tried the scramble and I was like, there's... <laughs> I very quickly found a lot of really good starts using just CFOP. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of the big flaw with method neutrality. Like, the other thing with method neutrality is that in order for you to, you know, do it properly, you have to actually be equally good at the two methods, which is very, very difficult. Um, if you're going to do that, like, you basically have to be, like, a 3x3 three three specialist. I don't think you can really practice other events, like, one-handed, I guess. Um, you could do that, but that's like a 3x3 three three specific thing, and then feet if it stays an event. <clears throat> Anyways, so that, that's that's my big gripe with method neutrality. Now, do I think it's completely impossible and it can never work? Not necessarily. For one thing, scramble... Okay, so good scrambles that are good for ZZ, um, they're kind of good for CFOP, in, but not in like a, as obvious of a way, so... Let's say you have a really easy EO cross. Well, if you're a CFOP solver, having an EO cross is, <laughs> you know, it's pretty good, honestly. Like, um, you just do an EO cross and you do F12 with, without rotating for the most part. Maybe you do something near the end that messes up edges, but it's still speculative whether it's, um, whether that's even a problem or not. Now, if you're doing ZZ properly, so that'd be EO cross and ZBLL, which is, I think most people agree that that's how you've got to do ZZ if you're going to, really try and make like push it to be a big three method um but for the but in the same way like scrambles that are good for zz are pretty good for cfop i think with Rue it's a little bit different like having oriented edges i don't know if it's as big of a deal so maybe doing both Rue and zz um could work or it's kind of an odd combo because people tend to learn Rue because they don't like learning algs whereas zz i think is probably the most alg heavy of those three methods you could probably argue CFOP being more ALK heavy, especially with more developments like more people doing VLS, more people doing ZB, more one with last layer, OLCP, things of that nature. But it's, it's a bit of an odd combo for that reason. But from the perspective of like dealing with scrambles that, you know, are actually more clearly more suited for one than the other, I think that can make sense. Now, here's, here's another aspect of method neutrality that I think is pretty interesting that people don't really talk about. Let's talk about how the blinders do, or can do, and have sometimes done method neutrality. So blind solvers, they use three style, they solve the cube using a bunch of three cycles, and then some like parity two, two swaps, you know, floating, whatever. Scrambles that are good for three blind are generally pretty terrible. Um, well, not terrible, but like they're not necessarily that good for any of the three aforementioned methods, Ru, CFOP, ZZ. Um, and for that reason, someone who's really, really good at three star, like someone who's actually practiced three blind is in like, you know, either in the low 20s or like maybe their memo is bad, but they can execute like at 10 seconds or something like that and get sub 10 exec. That can make sense for some scrambles because if you think about it, like having a bunch of like random solved pieces, like a few solved corners and then maybe a solved edge, that's not really a useful scramble for either CFOP or Roo or ZZ. And of course, having like little two swaps of pieces, like maybe you have like, a like random four cycle where you happen to know like a parity type alg or just like a two two swap of edges like again that's not really helpful for 
um, you know, the, the big three, the big two or three. Um, so in my opinion, like, the, the people who, like, balance CFOP and three style, I think they're doing method neutrality, like, the, I guess, the best way, in my opinion. Um, but still, with that, it's hard to say, like, if it's even better than just doubling down on CFOP and really, you know, push because I don't think anyone's trying to argue that <laughs> three styles should be part of the big four or the big whatever number we're, we're going with here. Um, so yeah, those are just some thoughts about method neutrality. Um, there's obviously other aspects to it as well, like, you know, again, like trying to learn and master multiple methods. Um, the question of, you know, whether or not you're really getting that much bang for your buck in terms of dealing with different types of scrambles. I, at the very least, I think trying to do Rue and CFOP method neutrality is a pretty uh, short-sighted idea. And I also think trying to do method neutrality with more than two events, like, it's just, you're just shortchanging your improvement so much, honestly. Like, you know, you're putting a third of a practice into three methods when you can be putting all that practice into one. And that's probably just going to be better in the long term. Um, anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it interesting. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And I thank you for watching.